You mentioned that you're 32 weeks along and you feel your baby move a lot. And you have a good question. Are your baby's movements able to actually break the water prematurely? Um, in medical terms, this is called PPROM, preterm premature rupture of membranes. And thankfully, the amniotic sac is designed to, with, to withstand strong kicks and movements because babies are going to do that. And after delivery, you can actually ask your doctor if they'll show you the placenta and amniotic sac and you can see where your baby's been living for the last nine months. And you can even fill the amniotic sac and it's surprisingly pretty, it, it doesn't look thick. It's really thin, but it's surprisingly strong to the touch. So um, baby's movements are not a known risk factor for PPROM, but there are a few things that do predispose women to it. Cigarette smoking is one, um, bacterial infections in the genital tract. Um, this is the single most um, identified risk factor for PPROM, and also a history of doing it in the past and bleeding in um, sometime during your, your pregnancy, specifically the first trimester. So if you don't have any of those risk factors, then chances aren't great that your water will break spontaneously. In fact, only about 10% of women have their water break outside of the hospital. That means 90% of the time the doctor has to do it for you sometime in labor. If at any time you start to have leaking of fluid, even if you just feel a little bit of a trickle and you suspect your water's broken, it's important to go to the hospital and get checked out. They'll do some testing to determine if it's amniotic fluid or not, and then based on that, what needs to be done about it. If you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.